Great here. Welcome back to Tales of Machio. We are on Lismi, a elven subspecies, I forget, Shalor, I guess it is, uh, alchemist. We're still in the newbie dungeon uh, on our second escort quest, Joy. Uh, actually, I'm curious, what do these do? Oh, so I can see the perspective. I didn't know I could do that. Where's the portal? The portal was close to the... Okay. Quicking on things is good to know. Okay, what else can we do? Let's look at this. Change your equipment, your talents, your tactics. I want to take direct control. I want to uh, change your name. Mm. <laughs> I know what I'm going to name him. Havoc. <laughs> There's one person out there who might actually know who I'm naming this golem for, and yes, it's that person. And also just because I want to say, cry havoc and let slip the golem of war. Okay, it doesn't quite work. We'll look at the other options later when I'm not directly under threat. So let's just kill this real quick. There we go. What is this? Spell surge. Target spell power has been increased by three. Oh, it, that's that... Uh, on the staff here, yeah, right there, the spell power and spell critical stacks up to three times. So that's what that gives me. Um, but what does it give me? Okay, spell, spell power. That would be under attack, probably. Spell power, 26. Every point of... Uh, In addition, when your spells inflict temporary... Okay. How powerful your magical spells are. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's think about this. This does... This is a spell, channel staff. Okay, so it, it increases the... Uh, probably increases the damage that my staff does. Hmm. Well, here's a good indicator. Uh, the gem will explode for 33.2 points of damage. If I get rid of this, yes, it is now 32.3. So yeah, it, it does help out a bit. Okay. So our escort said it's a little bit to the north. Um, resistant to light, so I'll just keep using whatever element my staff is on. Because I'm pretty sure. Let me get this. Pretty sure that I was not on light. Okay, there's the second escort. Magic by two, willpower by one. Form a map of, uh, of your surroundings, your mind, in a radius of six. Uh, arcane eye. Summon an ethereal magical eye at the designated location that lasts for 12 turns. Uh, premonition. Echoes of the future flash before your eyes. We will erect a temporary shield that reduces all damage of this type by... 13% for five turns. I'm just going to go for magic. I'm this me. Thank you. Okay. Let's take a look at what this does. I want to change your equipment. Oh, that battle axe I picked up, I could have given it to him. Okay. Good to know. He also has gems. What do these do? Imbue and well. Okay. What happens if I... Can I put a citrine in there? No. Master must know the gem golem talent. Okay, so I don't know that yet. So, But I can give him two-handed or sword and board plus a uh, chess piece. Got it. Got it. Okay. I want to change your... T <laughs> My golem's got talents? What? What madness is this? 
Uh, okay, hold on. Current talent rushes the target. This is based off of strength. And this is... So I can either have a strength golem or a magical golem. And since I'm a magic user, I'm going to mix it up and have him go strength. So let's... Uh, this goes off of... Yeah, it goes off of strength. So let's just give him constitution and strength. There we go. What else can we do? Tactics. Set the current tar uh, target. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. Behaviors tank. Leash anchor is me. Leash distance is 10. Define tactical talents usage. Interesting. I will leave that alone for now. Let's move along. <laughs> I like how the golem just kills things and I don't even know what it was. It's like, sorry about that, sir. Uh, red crystal off screen. Yeah, I can't reach it. So. And he teleported. Teleport it again. There we go. Rough leather cap. I'm only putting it on because I don't actually have a cap of my own right now. Or any headgear. Wait, I know that there is a... Fire element out there, and I am on fire, so... In anticipation of that, let's switch it over to cold. More lore! Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. I'll probably still die horribly, but... At least I'm learning something. Doesn't matter because I don't have a cloak. This gives me extra light radius, infravision. No. What? Defense and more saves. Got it. Looks like there's going to be more lore. Ooh. Copper ring of clarity. So, what does this do for me? Another bright. Ooh, light radius of five. Swap that out. Mental saves plus confusion immunity. Let's transmogrify that right now. Gloves will help. And one off. Ah! A chest... ouch! A chest piece for my golem. So... To change your equipment... Okay, so one of the things that I learned uh, in between last... well, my last run and this current run um, was I learned uh, about... armor... What was it? There were, it was armor and then defense, or armor and then hardiness, I think it was. Uh, basically, there, there was how much damage it could block versus how much damage of the, the attack. So, um, basically, there's... I know it's in here somewhere. Maybe it's just on me. Defense. Yeah, so here it is. Armor armor hardiness. 30%. So what this means, if I remember correctly, the armor here is the damage reduction from all melee and ranged. Okay? So what that means is um, this the armor that I'm wearing currently can block at most two points of damage. The armor hardiness 
uh, what this means is that when a when a an attack comes in, uh, my armor can only block up to thirty percent of it, regardless of how much in absolute terms that is. So the the what this means uh, the armor hardiness. Say I had an armor of fifty, and the armor hardiness was thirty, but the um the attack that comes in was six points of damage. Okay, well thirty percent of six is two points. So my armor, even though it could block fifty points. If its hardiness is only 30, it only blocks 2, because it only blocks 30% of that attack. But all, uh, all attacks up to um, 150, it will block 30%. Then at 150, which you know, 50 is 30% of that, once you get up to 160, then it still only blocks 50, even though that's less than 30%. I didn't know that before, so I was like just going, more armor is better, but if the hardiness isn't there, then... You know, it, it, maybe that's what was causing my tanky characters to kind of peter out when they did. Okay, this is definitely gem territory. Except I didn't mean to hit that. I'm actually going to change that. That's getting annoying. Okay. Game options. Uh, miscellaneous. No, gameplay. Mouse targeting disabled. I uh, just forget the mouse. I'm used to roguelites not using a mouse, so I'll, I'll deal with it. I'm just going to... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, now I can't highlight it? Really? Let's put this back on and see if that changes. Most targeting enable. Yeah, Ugh, that's annoying. Spellblaze Crystal. Uh, resist 2% of all. Okay, so let me get out of the way. Okay. Well, what did I do? Great Havoc is dead. I need to get out of there. Okay, hold on. I need to reconstitute him. There he is. Oh, but he's got a... Did, did, I, did I hurt him? Oh, he's definitely hurt. And I can't... It's 20 turns until I can regenerate him. Acid infusion. Oh, infusing my alchemical bombs with acid. Why did I not have that on before? And it's sustained, so I should have it over with my sustain. There we go. Um, okay, he's not over there. So let's get down here. Heal him up, and let's see if we can find that crystal again. I have a sneaking suspicion that that is what I'm here for. There he is again. Where is he? Okay, you regenerate. Thank you. No, I don't want the previous level. Yeah, I definitely have to kill that thing. Because there's nowhere else for me to go. Oh. 
And of course, it teleports. I'm just going to go right back to the stairs. There's my golem. Where are you? Okay, now I can't fit through there. Well, it was over here. There it is. Okay, I just hit it for 34 dam uh, acid damage and it didn't do a darn thing. Shield. Mm, I don't need mana surge. Okay. It's obviously hostile. 340 hit points to it. I just have to burn it down? It cast phase door, so it's... Where's my phase door? Oh. Great. There it is. There, I got spells, uh, or not spell surge, the, uh, yeah, spell surge. Okay, so it phased door again. Wow, it does not like my golem at all. Okay, you stop. Oh, there we go. That goes with the spell blaze. Uh, let's explore the renegade Shalorn camp. Okay. What does this do? Oh, it's my damage shield. I have 64 points left, so let's... Ouch. Walk into that, I guess. Let's bring our guy back. And we have a level. We've got two levels, apparently. So... Let's just dump two into everything. Okay, so here. When acid diffusion is active, your bombs co uh, coat your golem in acid for four turns when they hit it. While coated, and immediately attack against your column has a 27% chance to trigger rate. Cone. Ooh, nice. What does this do? Proves your golem armor and damage resistance. Okay, make him tankier. This does what? Uh, gets all of the damage of your own bombs and against external elemental damage by 3%. So 20 for, for acid, because I'm, I'm on acid aspect, and then 3% for everything else. Um, okay. Well, let's actually do this and this, since both of those help my, my golem. Uh, what does this do? I've got two generic points. Imbue can alter the world. Imbue body, uh, uh, a body armor with a gem up to tier 1, granting it additional powers. You can only imbue items once. Yes, I want to imbue. Thank you. Staff Master. Increase physical power by 13. Increase weapon damage by 20 when using staves. That's only if they get close. Okay, so that's defense. This is probably sustained. Yep. Well, let's just grab this just so I can continue on down the line. There we go. And let's see what he gives us. 
I would call her a hat. Okay. Rod of Recall, we know about. So, let's see what we've got. Phase Door, which I can't use. Cloud Caller. Beam of Lightning. <laughs> yes, please. Definitely better than just a rough leather cap. Okay, let's transmogrify that. And that, there we go. Iron Great Mall. Iron Mace of Vileness. Do we want that for our dude to change your equipment? So right now he has an Iron Battle Axe. So a little bit less damage. But he picks up more damage in the melee. He gets chance to spread disease. He gets more armor. Yeah, we're going to swap it out. There we go. No. Okay. Let's just transmogrify these real quick. Okay, where's my... Yep, my rod of recall. Okay, what's this? Imbue body armor. We'll move over here somewhere. This is another attack, so we'll put it there. Let's head out. So I have 18 more gems. Hmm. Ooh, wait, yeah, no, 53 more turns until the, uh, until I can imbue an item. So, there's the town, and this is, what now? Rolorian Camp. Okay. What level is this? Minimum level one. Well, I want to go into town first. Have we been to the Elven Town yet? I don't remember. No, we haven't. And that's because... Yeah, I don't, I don't recognize this pattern at all. So, let us go in here, clearly. And the nice thing about the transmortification Rune Master, okay, is now I'm I'm just shopping. <laughs> uh, how much gold do I have anyway? Twenty-eight. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Well, first off, I can imbue an item. Okay. So, Agate gives me more stats. Spinial gives me more defense. Citrine is light. That's crit. Zircon is... Let's go with Zircon. Oh, I can't... Wait. Hold on. Does it need... Oh. Uh, let's do Quad Caller. Here. Does it have to be in my inventory is the question. Okay, Zircon. Okay. Oh, body armor with the gem. Okay, 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 hold on. So, let's put Cloud Caller back. Let's put this out. I just, I'm not going to imbue, obviously, a win it. I just want to see if it shows. Okay, so it does have to be in my inventory. Got it. Okay. Let's not be naked. There we go. Okay, so let's see if I can find a better piece of... What is all these? Spell blaze? What? Lore. Uh, you know me and lore. I'm not that big on it. I love lore in general, but in games like this where it's kind of heavy... I feel like me reading it out is just, eh, you know? Silk card. Ooh, an epic, but I can't get it. Darn. The only one I can get is 
Well, I can't get anything. Mm. Well, that'll have to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, next time we will try to find the other uh, dungeon that I need to complete this, this uh, basic quest. And, well, see you next time. Have fun.